kind of talking in a baby voice too. It's almost like he's talking to Judith right. uh, because he's not talking menacingly. He's talking and that's to what a it baby. All, yeah, that's the thing. So, it's but the, like, the scary part is he's so casually saying it. Like he's saying it like it's no big deal. Yeah, and I can't, I can't, I, I can't, buy, I can't buy into it. I no. really can't. Personally, I can't. And then he kisses Judith on the forehead. Yeah, and end of the episode. Yeah. Did you okay? Um, did you notice that he has? Is he wounded on his uh, left wrist? Do we know how? Because he has he has a bandage on his around his wrist. And if you want to look back on it, maybe the viewers for feedback and maybe explain this to me if I missed something. But yeah, there's a um, yeah there's there's he, he has a bandage around his wrist. No idea why. So I don't think anyways. anything that happened to him. Maybe I'm just missing it, but hmm. don't know. Okay. Well, I, I want to bring that up. Yeah. Do you uh, think uh, this is a, this is also another? power move by negan he's sitting like i said all that stuff he's inviting people for the barbecue he's holding the baby <laughs> uh people online were joking that he was going to start mowing rick's lawn and telling him how to you know how to better fertilize it and, yeah basically you know, just, you know how to pull the weeds out <laughs> yeah maybe be like when rick comes back he's barbecuing in the back and he's he's like oh i'm gonna show you how to cook a steak rick and Rick's like, I know how to cook a steak. And he's like, well, you know. And that's when he decides to turn on him. He's like, don't you, you could, you, you could take over my city, take over, you know, you know, take in my son and hold my daughter, but you cannot show me how to cook a steak. Yeah, and that's, and that is the, <laughs> the, that boiling is the, point. the point where Carl has to make a choice because they have a cook-off. One of the episodes is going to be a cook-off between uh, both of them and Carl has to choose the winner. Which leads steak. to my next thing that I want to say that I want okay. to say for the next episode. Okay, yes. so like, this is this is not to be taken seriously at all, obviously, but I know you'd like this. Instead of having a mid season finale full of intensity, since they you know they lacked all that throughout the entire season, arguably for my in, I say arguably, uh, they should have a Walking Dead variety hour. Well, we talked about this, didn't we? No, we had a Christmas. This is a Christmas special. It was a Christmas variety show. Oh right, but we have a variety hour because I was watching yeah. that seventy show because I like to recap on that seventy show when I'm during my lunch breaks. Yeah, and it was the episode when uh, Red was cracking down on uh, the foremans and you know like on Hyde and everything because they've been he found out they were smoking up, and um, Kenny fantasized just like you know having a variety hour, but it would fail in the end because everybody's just drifting apart. Okay, but at the beginning you know they come into you know I got the music and me you know they should totally have the Walking Dead cast coming into that and it guest starred you know Gene Simmons and. Uh, and Chora, you know, give it to me, Coochie. You know, I yeah. really feel like that should totally happen on The Walking Dead as a mid-season finale. It would, it, you know, if they want to... Don't look at this as something that's really serious, but play oh, along okay, with okay, how, okay. Sure, how sure. cool this would be. It would be. I would really like it to be a Christmas special, because they could incorporate both of our ideas that way. Yeah, well, or have both. I feel like you have Christmas variety. specials are usually variety shows. You do they a Christmas are. special, yeah. and then you have little skits inside. And they've done a weird little skit before for a Red Nose Day, I think, or... What do you um, mean? You haven't seen it? It's a it's it's involved the Walking Dead. Yeah, yeah. It's like oh, this, really? uh, It's this weird little like four minute video where you have uh, Denai Guerrero is like this '70s dancer, uh, really, and uh, Daryl and I, I forget exactly. It's a really weird little video. Uh, I think the Han Solo is in it. What um, Harrison Ford? You mean Harrison Ford, or you mean like no, no, no? It was actually what's his name? Uh, who who does the Talking Dead again? Chris Hardwick? Yeah, Chris Hardwick dressed as Han Solo. Oh, okay. Um, yeah, it was a weird, it's like a weird ad. It's like a commercial for a variety, I think it's like a variety show. So they've had anyway. them? Well, I don't know, I'll show you that. Can, yeah, you gotta find this clip, because uh, I really want to see yeah, it. And I'll put the link in the, in the show notes, too, and we'll see Great. if it's close to what you want. <laughs> uh, it's strange, it's strange. They could have done a lot more with it, and it does have the potential to be a, an hour-long show. I really want to see the governor come back. And you really have it in for this governor. Oh, I love the governor. We keep and we keep we, we do we do keep going love back him. to it. Uh, do you have anything else you want to talk about? Uh, uh, this episode? Other than like, uh, see the overall for every single episode, you know, with the exception of of the premiere, I said arguably like they could take away because I was watching Vice Guy to film and they would they would review basically a bunch of you know filmmakers uh, you know that in the cinematic world, which would be like, you know, in my case, what I said was Tarantino. Okay. And this episode was pretty cool because they reviewed all of his, uh, you know, all his films, you know, what he does so great, you know, to, to balance smart dialogue and uh, violence and not even always the most gratuitous violence, but like, you know, even the idea of it, or maybe it would be overemphasized, but it has, it always has, a, it always has a perfect balance between his dialogue and his violence. And the walking dead really could use a Tarantino demeanor. Okay. Not exactly like it. I'm not looking at like, you know, but like, you know, more close ups, more, you know, like I was mentioning before with Negan, you know, like, you know, it's like, you know, every time he walks in, you know, make it be a signature. He just, you know, he bet when he bats Lucille on a railing or something, like, you know, emphasize on that. Make it show like his, make it show his presence. He just walks in now like he's just, you know, like he's in a theater or something. And it's like, 
I don't feel like that's that's the right tone that we should have for this show, especially to exuberate, you know, uh, uh, Negan's character here. Okay. That's that's my opinion. I, yeah, I really and feel I like don't I, necessarily disagree with it. I just okay. I don't have a problem with how it is now. Yeah, it's but like you don't feel like this could be better. I mean, every we talk oh, yeah. about, yeah, exactly. That's what I'm saying. So this this I feel like this is one of those things. This could easily be better, and to have that maybe that Tarantino demeanor. I mean, like it's. I think we really think about like you know, think about hateful eight, you know, like all those like those important close ups and everything, you know, just to, maybe if they do lead to nothing, fine, but play with the audience in that regard. Don't really don't condescend us. We've pointed out so many times how the you know the show condes- is condescending towards its viewers, and you know they should be going to- towards you know Tarantino's direction to play with us, you know, yeah, in in that context, not not condes- be condescending with us. Yeah, you know? no, no, I agree. So that's I that's agree. that's what I feel like you know that's that those are my thoughts at the end of every show practically and especially this one and I just you know obviously I just watched Vice Guy to film with the Tarantino <laughs> special so it's like yeah I mean and it was a good episode too you had Eli Roth on there you had uh, I forgot who else well, uh, we'll talk about this stuff off air because yeah whatever we're, anyways we're I just over think two like, hours now do you have anything else you want to say pertaining to this episode um, no I feel like I've uh, I've bashed it enough. You've I've exhausted uh, all. I've your exhausted all notes. my resources onto it. Um, right. Yeah, well, I, I like... like this episode. Probably my second or third favorite of the season. Does that say much though? Because it's yeah. the season. You're really hating on this. I, I like it. I, so far, I'm good with it. I wish they had done things differently, but you know, I can't look back and. I did like the wish. fact that you could play on a, on a character arc between Negan and and. And Carl, I did like that. Though, like I said, it lacked what I think what I would look for in a zombie show. <laughs> I'm sorry, like it's they don't they, they don't. We forget there's walkers. The only time we knew there was walkers when Spencer just takes down that. It just the use of the walkers were just pretty much Spencer taking down that hunter and you know um, and Michonne's way of just having that roadblock. Yeah, but I mean the, the walkers are the catalyst for everything else that happens. It's the it's what happens after the walkers. What how you rebuild society? It you can't go seven seasons where the walkers are still the threat. Well, no, like they're always can. a background threat, but it's what we become. I mean, they they hammer it home like three, four times a season. This is what we are now. This is what we become. No, no, the only way to stay alive. Like it's forced, you know. It's just it's you know it's the use of them. It's like oh, okay, yeah, they're there. It's... I mean, even in all the like the good zombie movies, it's it's not the zombies that you have to worry about. It's... But they always have a staggering reminder every time. Yeah. Like, you know what I mean? That's what, like when you watch a Romero film. It's like, yeah, you watch the development of character. You watch where the story, the narrative is going. But, oh, all of a sudden, your big obstacle will be getting past zombies. Yeah. And I find they let a lot go, especially in this season. They let a lot go on this. The only That's why I kind of... It was kind of like rejuvenating to see, you know, the Taron Heath episode, like, uh, yeah, like swear, like, you know, to see, yeah, like, you know, the them be a... Th- it was so, it was like, okay, finally, you know? Yeah, I can, I can understand that, like, you... Some people want to see that, yeah. And it's not really; it hasn't been a threat in a while. The it's last because big it, threat was the the herd that got into Alexandria. Yeah, and that was great. That was a great use of it. I I love that, and that's I know I, I got to take it to him. Like last, last season, like you know, that's not the best season, but it's definitely one to remember yeah. for good things. And uh, obviously, besides the way it ended, but then um, <laughs> I mean, like it's looking like a soap opera. Like you know, the, the, it's relatable in terms of, like you know the way a, a soap opera is shot. Always the same repetitive shots. The same. If you have a close up, it's the same traditional close up. Yeah, yeah. I know it's like I know you have to like. I know it's a part of like. Um, it's more of an economical choice to do it, but like it's just it's not. It's not original anymore. Yeah, that's what I've that, and that's how I'm. I'm criticizing this season thus far. Yeah, well, we'll see how you feel after the next episode. Oh, they'll win me back. They'll kill three people, and I'll be like, oh, my God, that was shocking, and I can't believe they did that. And, well, we got to find out. we got to find out next week, right. next week's episode. Uh, we didn't get any feedback this week, David. That's okay. And this episode went on very long. And I'm, You know, if you got this far, congratulations, <laughs> because uh, <laughs> I can't imagine someone's going to listen to this entire episode, but good on you if you did. Uh, we're gonna try and keep next week's episode a little, a little less. We'll see. I feel like if there's more, life. I feel like the pattern is if we there's more to talk about in an episode, we'll talk a lot less about it, yeah. as opposed to like when there's nothing going on, we try to justify why there's nothing going on. Yeah, and how much we hate how there's nothing going on. Well, I don't know. Yeah, I guess I don't know. But uh, do you have anything <laughs> else you want to say, or are we good to to get out of here? We are good. Okay, so I'm gonna uh, just remind everybody that you can leave us a comment, leave us a rating on iTunes. Uh, please, please uh, head over there and do it when you have a chance, if you have a chance, and leave us some feedback at the Casting Dead 
at hotmail. No, let me scratch that. No more hotmail. The casting dead at gmail.com. Uh, send your feedback, your theories, if there are even theories to be had in this show. Say that I'm a tremendous shit as a review. That'd be pretty cool. Oh, yeah. Well, I have to I usually cut all those ones out. But... Oh, you didn't tell me? That's a bummer. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, you know, I'll let, them, I'll let them fly this time. Uh, yeah, so send that in to us, and we will see you next week for the season, mid-season finale. Have Bye. a good night. Yeah. Bye. Bye.